Have you ever looked up at the night sky and felt small? You stare at those tiny pinpricks of light, twinkling, mysterious, eternal, and therefore wonder, what are those stars? How many are there? Why does one shine brighter than the next? And therefore, how big can a star possibly be? These are the questions that haunted me as a kid, looking up, searching for answers in a sky that never spoke back. But today, we do have answers, some of them anyway. Let's start with with something familiar. Our sun, it's massive. So massive that you could fit almost a million Earths inside it. That's hard to picture, right? A million Earths. And yet, in the grand cosmic ocean, the sun is barely a ripple. Half the stars you have observed so far are bigger than the sun. Some of them are so enormous, so completely unfathomable, that our brains almost refuse to grasp their scale. Our sun is average, a medium-sized star. Its brilliance comes not from how big it is, but how close. So if our mighty sun is in the biggest, then what is? Let's go on a scale journey. Earth next to Jupiter, we are toast. Jupiter next to the sun, now we are toast. But the sun, next to you is Kuti, the second largest non-star in the Milky Way. It will be like dropping a marble inside a cathedral dome. Its outer layers will reach beyond Jupiter's orbit. Let that sink in. Past Jupiter. And here's where your mind might need a breather. You could fill your eyes could you with 5 billion suns, 7 trillion Jupiters, or 7 quadrillion Earths. I don't know about you, but when I first read that, my brain just kind of paused. There's no earthly metaphor big enough for this kind of scale. I think I should come up with one, right? And you are still not at the biggest. You don't want to see how big the largest in the universe is but you're going to 